Brethren, amen, brethren. It's a very different video. I've never done anything like this before, and I'm not, I'm not a doctor, but I um, listen to a very popular doctor online. There's a few guys online that sound like very legit, and I'm really excited about them because um, they, they did a really good job for another person um, was taking some stuff that he recommended. His name is Dr. Josh Axe, and he's been really, very well received among the people who are into the health stuff. And anyhow, um, I have been having some struggles with my own heart. I've been feeling some really interesting warning signs there that really concern me. So that's why I started looking into it. And the reason why I picked this guy is because um, the testimony of um, stomach issues and taking his bone broth that he has kind of like, uh, I think he kind of like helped uh, invent it or something. And it's something people have been using in their drinks and stuff to mix it in, or you can take pills or however you wanted to do it, of getting bone broth in you. And it's actually really, really good for your stomach. And the the turnaround testimony was so fast that, um, like, sister could not eat certain types of foods because it would make her feel really nauseous. And then after doing the bone broth for, like, not even two months, like a month and a half of just every morning having a, just a spoonful in your... Um, orange juice or something like that and then a little bit of coconut milk I think mixed into it making a kind of a special drink and it's been a, a natural healer just to do what your body is asking for and put it, putting us back together the way we were wired for so that's why I liked him and was more willing to listen to his advice because the testimony of actual change and actual success was was there so that's stomach stuff and he has a, lots of videos about tons of stuff. So just go to his pages, his videos, and learn. But this is the fastest way to learn about the heart disease. So on the left-hand side, you'll see his top 10. There's a video he does of that. And you can just quickly see it. He does. He explains it all a lot further in the in his video, which is fine. You can check it out and have him explain to exactly all that is. But for um, natural ways of um, healing your heart issues, I guess it's clearing out the... Uh, um, cholesterol. There, the cholesterol is is good, but it, the way it, there's a, the, he explains to you how a certain kind of cholesterol it, it builds up too much, and it's hard for your blood to get through, and it makes it really hard on your heart, and thus call it causing heart disease. Number one killer in America is that. The second two that tie in second, I think, is cancer and diabetes. Very dangerous. So he's got lots of different natural ways of handling all this stuff, which is really really important to help people stay on target and to get right with the good stuff and get get away from the bad stuff so um the, the stuff on the light I, I got some garlic pills for five dollars a little over five bucks at the store and you can just take them and it's like a clove each which is really good i take two at night because the you can you can smell it you know um so i just i don't want to smell it so i just go to i take them at night i take two at night you can take three if you want and the flax, I haven't got any of that, but I guess it's flaxseed. If you can find some, maybe a flaxseed ex extract, if you want. Um, there's different types of fruits and vegetable ex extracts that they get at the store, natural stores, and they're not cheap, but they're really good. If you don't, if you don't have the time to mix up drinks and blend and stuff like that, this is a really good option because it's still really good stuff. And I think sometimes because it's so real that the shelf life is not long like a pill. Not all, Some of them are and some of them aren't. So you can just take a look at that and get an idea for what would work. Olive oil, I haven't done any of that yet, but that's a good kind of oil, I guess. Certain, certain kind of stuff is good and certain kind of stuff is not. So it's good to get around some of these good people and learn about which is the best ones for you. Because sometimes it's surprising what's good and bad for you. But turmeric is something I take the pills of those. I take one in the morning and one at night. You can take two a day. Blueberry pills, I got those, and um, you can take one a day, and it's equivalent to like seven berries, because I don't like the flavor of blueberries, so I, I can still get it in my stomach by taking one at night and one at, in the morning, because it's not that many berries, so I don't mind taking more. Rosemary, um, there's a, like a little droplet thing that you can get and drop it into your drink and mix it into whatever you drink, and then just add it to your um, diet. And all these things together is just really, really good. I can already tell a little bit of a difference, because it's been kind of like scary to say the least it can feel something doesn't feel right in your heart and so it's uh it caused me concern so i want to start to take the steps towards recovery and so i'll be letting you know how i do in the next um, um month or so and let you know just from the three things but also my uh, my buddy also had a lot of good testimonies about kale and stuff like that for his other problems a lot of physical problems he did like a uh, kale diet and he said the the rapid recovery of 
of a lot of pain in his teeth or pain in like a, I think he had a cyst that went down almost all the way. Um, sleeping patterns, anxiety, um, his mind was clearer. Uh, a lot of stuff he said was really, really different. You notice it's it just, it was, it's an amazing change if you just, especially if you can introduce it slowly, changing your diet, if you do the diet type of stuff. But anyways, um, rosemary. Also, yeah, there's a rosemary thing you can put in your bath and take a hot bath and let it soak into you. It's actually really, really good for your heart as well. Salmon, the food salmon, of course, the fish. Spinach and also leafy lettuces, like I was talking about kale. And he also used another one, I think it was called bok choy. My buddy, that's a totally different story. I don't know what um, all that is good for, but I'm just giving you examples of stuff that's like kind of reminding me of it. A lavender, I don't know what that is, but that's another one he recommended. And a pomegranate. And then he gave it a couple extras on the top right. It's 11. It's cacao. It's the chocolate. And it. I didn't realize. I actually bought a 90% cacao because I saw that thing. And I was like, well, that's pretty cool. And so I bought it and it tastes like dirt. It's amazingly bad tasting. But it's good for you. Um, the number one, Another one he put is, co, is CoQ10. And I was at the store. They recommended They said that's one of the top sellers there. Has a lot of really huge benefits. I think one of those pills a day it would is really good for your heart too magnesium. Um, I think there was a couple more that he mentioned, but I didn't get them. But he says a daily a daily diet, the top one, the one through four right here, protein, fiber, healthy fats, and antioxidants. All four of these. He says it keeps these, make your make up your meals. It'll keep your insulin levels balanced, which I know nothing about that, but that was something he stressed really clearly. And he says these are the three colors, wheats and grains. He says stay away from it totally. He says they're so bad for you. Trans fat, and sugar, all these things actually can really affect your mind a lot, and they're just not good for you. They're just the stuff that we just don't want in our bodies. So uh, this is a short version of his video. Um, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just giving you a testimony that I am noticing a difference in just um, a week, not even a week, excuse me. And uh, I feel like I'm having less scares in my heart and also um, uh, the stomach stuff as well. So that's bone and broth for your stomach. I've also heard about ginseng for your stomach, so just try to just find something that works for you if you need it, if you need help with any of these kinds of things for stomach problems and for um, heart problems or diabetes problems, stuff like this. I don't know what one you, you might have, uh, sleeping problems. I don't know whatever kind of maybe problem that you might have. Some of these nice doctors actually recommend certain things that can help kind of get you back on track in a really real way and recommends you stay away from the drug industry that the doctors who say that all that kind of stuff, all they do is point to drugs. He, he recommends that you don't listen to that. It's, 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 it's not helpful. And I don't know how that's not clear to precious people out there spending all the kind of money on stuff. So I'm not a doctor, so I'm sorry. It's not. This is totally out of my thing, but it's becoming in me, and I wanted to share it with anybody who may need rapid heart um, change. I believe that the real stuff, stuff that we were made to eat, is going to help us and dial us in. So I've only got three of the deal here, and I want to start getting some probiotics. I have some, but I think they might be out of date because they have a very short shelf life as well. But if you can take one of those a day, there's actually vegetables and there's biotics that we want in our in our bodies and not antibiotics unless you're you know going through certain things that you have to kind of kill everything. But we do want biotics in us. It's actually really important that we have as part of the diet too, which I'm not familiar as to what um, it actually does as far as what kind of problems it kind of helps, but it's uh, another one I wanted to mention because I probably won't make another video like this, but just wanted to give you guys a, a quick reminder of stuff that can help your heart because this is the number one heart. This is the number one killer in America is heart disease and it's just a lot of it because of our food. Just our natural, normal food is, is really bad for us. And so I want to help t to train our precious American brothers and sisters to get on slowly change to stuff like this. If you don't have time to blend, you can do like I do and just get the pills. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just seed extract. It's just the seeds and stuff like that. So it's really well done stuff. And like, I mean, I think it's already noticing a difference. So hopefully it helps. And I hope you all feel better uh, on your physical bodies. And hopefully it helps um, all your, all your, um, any trouble that you might be having. Um, as we're continuing on our journey. All right, have a great day and God bless.